Hey guys, this is Taco Mano 17 here, bad guy with a new video for you guys. And today, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite Evanescence songs that I've known from all the three records that have been shown so far. And uh, yeah, and I hope you like this video. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell if you're new to my channel to watch so yeah so stay tuned for more context so anyways um and this so back to what, what i was saying my first favorite evidence in the song is going under because why because i know the song gives a lot more more of a darker feeling than bring me to life and because this the song gives much of a dark give much of a meaning deeper story because it just shows how to get out of a bad relationship which i can relate to a lot because i do a lot with struggles and stress in my life and drama and to be, make it out too and it's it, every time i listen to that song it kind of speaks to me in a way it's like whoa i'm okay it just makes you feel like okay i'm in this situation and i want to get out of it so uh, I don't know. It's 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 such a good song. It just it gets it's it's so edgy, more dramatic, and a lot, lot more. It's so fun, and I really liked like it. Uh, so there's that. Number two is farther away, and I know the song was in my as in like debuted on on their first first record, Fallen. I'm guessing it's one of their bonus tracks for Fallen. And it, originally it was supposed to be on the album, but instead at lineup records things fall through. I'm must be presuming, so it must. It's now now it's it's been like on on the vinyl old box set thing for or the new ultimate collection thing, which I have right next to me. So it's it, I love the song. It's really good and more fun. It's really really what fun. It's fun filled with a lot more dark. It has a darker, darker feeling, and a lot more. It looks. It has a lot more energy. Okay, so and it just speaks from a personal perspective on just like getting out of these these tough situations on ends in life. So and that's what I'm interpreting as. So number three is my last breath and. Now, why? Because it's based on the 9-11 events, because My Last Breath, which I never even really knew about, was basically about the 9-11 attack, so it, now that you guys know, number four, which is Call Me When You're Sober, and I know it's, oh, it's kind of um, random for me, because as that hearing that song is kind of feels like a breakup song, I guess. So, yeah, I just like I just like it. So, and my last one is "What You Want," and I never even heard about this song on when I first heard about their self-titled record. So, when I first heard about heard "What You Want," I was like, "Oh my god, this is my jam!" I, I fell in love with the music video and all that stuff, and I have the digital full download on my phone. I just cannot stop listening to it. it it's so good, all that stuff. It just, it just shows the how creative this band can be, and I don't know. It's just so inspirationally influenced for me because I have my own song lyrics, which is most mostly influenced by the band. And I don't know. They, I just love them. They always be my main inspiration for my even for my life. Even other bands too, like Paramore, for example. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And and originally I was about, about to like. I originally I was about to edit the, this whole video, but uh, my that my program the program that in, in editing thing that was kind of screwed up. So I can so I was just like hey film this video like raw no editing at all so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video until my next video peace out rockers